Here we go. My Leo Seeker. Why ice cream? I thought this was the Leo video. Why not ice cream, right? I also have Oreos on the table. Why not? Why not fun and yum and good? Top planets. Why not fun and yum and good? I don't know. Welcome to the existential shift. My name is Morgane. <clears throat> if you're a new seeker here, I'm really happy to have you. If you're one of my regular seekers, still very much happy to have you. This is your tarot scope for the month of October. Happy October, happy Libra season, Venus in retrograde and Scorpio. Yes, I am excited. Something special for October. On October 10th, I'm doing my first live Q&A right here on my channel, so stay tuned. Um, I'm not sure which time exactly it will be, but I'll pin it to in all the comments. I, I'll pin it to the comments to all the videos. Comes uh, October 8th or 9th. Um, so just check in. And I have specials for my private reading. So all the information is in is in the information box. All you have to do is email me and we'll talk about your life. All right, I'm, I'm, my brain is also focusing on asking for messages for Leo for October, please. <laughs> Good old Rider Waite tarot deck, right? Wrong. Good, yes, not old. I think it's less than a century old. Um, this was done in the, in the early um, 20th century. He was released some sometime in the mid, early mid um, 20th century. So it's less than 100 years ago. It's just super popular because it's a good deck. Specifically, this was my first tarot deck ever to purchase. It sat on one of my shelves for two years before I felt like um, I'm qualified to touch it. It was many years ago. I was weird. I'm weird today, yes, but I was even weirder then. Sorry. Okay, Leo. Ask and you shall receive. I said, Leo, and here you are. What a wonderful start for your reading with ice cream and Oreos. Seriously, no, this is great. This is, well, look further, right? But the sun, it means that the sun is shining on us, Leo. Awareness, optimism, success, achievements, recognition, childbirth. It can be many, many things. It is the male archetype, the sun. It is the conscious. It is knowing. It is positive knowing. I like the red banner thing here. <laughs> As I was saying, welcome to the existential shift. It was the ice cream. <laughs> I'm in a silly mood. I don't even know why. <clears throat> Okay, guys, we're <laughs> October is looking good. Um, as best so far from all the readings. Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you <clears throat> are about to choose between different options. All of them lovely, but you're going to choose, even if you're still deliberating. On the accurate one, on the right one, on the one. Yes, it could be a job, but yes, it could be romantic. Say you're juggling a few options. Now, I don't like the automatic 
juggling between a few people, third party situation, all that jazz. Yes, this combination can say it. But these cards are way too happy and aware and in your face, authentic, honest kind of thing. I don't think there is deception going on here. I think if this is the case and some of you potentially um, in the beginning stages of a relationship, maybe you're not exclusive yet, so you're dating more than one person and it's okay. The other person is probably also doing the same thing, but something comes out of it. Um, one person comes out of it. Or you could be going to an event, a party, a celebration and meet someone, uh, potentially someone from a different place a different city, a different area that either just moved in or just lives somewhere else. But it is so accurate and so fast and so clear. Now, here's the thing. Venus is retrograding now in Scorpio. It can bring all kinds of things from faded um, encounters that last for a long time with longevity to just, you know, something temporary and passionate and that brings out a lot in us. Uh, makes us aware of ourselves and help us um, reignite and reunite with our passion and our will, which is also a good thing. So whether this is long-term or not, although this this has the seed of long-term term serious lasting kind of thing, um, even if it doesn't, it feels like it in October and it's good indulge enjoy do not overthink if it's on the surface what you see is what you get kind of thing get it there's a lot of um manifesting from joy in this reading so far for october oh there it is no it has to be a smart ass Five of Swords. Someone might not be happy with whatever choice you're about to make or with you meeting someone, being with someone, finding something, finding your tribe, finding your space, finding your success, finding your opportunity or the opportunity finds you. And someone is like, wait, what about me? Don't leave me behind. Leave them behind. Do not be tempted to recount your losses. Don't go there. Don't think about it. it. If it doesn't exist, it never existed, and nor will it ever exist. See how sunny and clear <clears throat> the sky are here in these cards? Everything is all sunny and lovely and cheerful and beautiful. And then the clouds, stifleness, um, doubt conflict <clears throat> you might be revisiting certain choices that you made um, that felt good for a while and then you might not be sure or have doubts but doubt not two of cups this is it's a very good read so far leo like Very clear partnership, very clearly romantic. Um, some of you might be a little bit contemplating between a financial opportunity and focusing on work and partnership. And here I have the Four of Swords, so it's an interesting seesaw kind of energy. Look. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <clears throat> Doubt, conflict, someone stirring the pot. Beautiful. No, we're not going to let this mess it up for us. But the doubt is already um, was seed. The seed was... Um, ah, I'm losing my words. I'm sorry. It's in your head now. It's in someone's head. Or someone is just around you not really happy with something good that is going on in your life. Something new and good and exciting and passionate. 
and balanced. I really don't like this energy. I think this might be someone around you that tries to kind of, um, you know, ruin the, ruin your um, your parade. I feel like some of you might be really happy about something, an opportunity, and you might say something out loud to, and the wrong person in the room hears it, and it kind of leads to a little bit of, um, I don't know, something iffy a little bit. Don't let anybody ruin anything for you. Don't listen to naysayers, okay? Um, don't let anybody um, pull you in into a battle or a conflict that would, will literally lead nowhere. Like nothing good will come of it. Really focus on the good things that you have right now. Um, I already have two twos. And one, two, three, four, five. So there's an element of chronological order and already a repetition of cards. Um, yeah, we already have, I can already see our extended coming to light. If you're new to this channel, what I do in the extended, it's not relevant for now. We have a long read until then. But what I will do is I will take the repetition of the cards from their numerological aspect. Example, two twos, right? I'll rearrange the table and, and um, express the new narrative that comes out of it. And I'll also take the elements that are in the... Um, the energies that are repeating themselves and that's the first part of the extended after that i also do a celtic cross and a message from the room so stay tuned okay but let's let's keep going for october for leo sun moon rising by the way venus uh cross watchers i recommend watching your other placements in your natal chart for a broader picture. I also recommend going back to September reads, so last month's read, to make the connection between the energies and the advice and what you already know because you went through the month. And that brings a lot of growth and understanding. So I really, really recommend that. Okay. Your spirit cards. Leo. My sunny Leo that are so present in their... their you are really sitting in your inside yourself. You're almost like, I don't need to, you know, dress up in Halloween. I am the best costume. I am the star. I am the sun. I'm just going to go as myself. I don't want to be anybody else. <laughs> love it. Okay. Love this even more. The Empress. Some of you are really giving birth to something and you're really celebrating something. Ooh. The moon and the five of wands. Okay, so the thing that repeats itself, by the way, another five. Um, the sun and the moon. Yes, with all the success and all the good stuff, there's also a lot of uh, inner conflict and potentially conflict with people around you that either are jealous or trying to uh, ruin your parade or kind of take something from you. Oh, if you have it now, I need to have it as well kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of inner confusion and turmoil that goes underneath the surface. A, a very good beautiful surface by the way because you're on top of things leo you're really succeeding you're really beautiful you're really uh charismatic you're really luring um you're in your you're in your power stance okay and all this doubt and confusion and fear and back and forth what can go wrong um who can mess this up for me I, I really didn't need you to find a way to detach yourself from it and really just focus, focus, focus on the, on the joy, on the happiness and the good stuff because that will generate more stuff from the universe. Very strong manifestation energies here, Leo, for the month of October for you. Literally what you feel you will create. So really try to focus on your positive awareness, on your optimism, on the things that, on the, on the reasons to celebrate, on your creativity and your family and your loved ones and how you look and how you feel um the moon with the sun this can be something parental there could be some conflict with a mother figure um maybe something coming up from childhood that you have to kind of figure out maybe a little bit of sibling conflict uh, or people you've known for a long time that just 
can't see you happy or succeed that have to seem to see it seems like they always have to pee on your parade like i'm sorry to say that it's just you know you're not their mother i know you're tempted to or you're feeling like you are for some reason um but they're just you know pulling you down If you're in a really good place right now, Leo, and you are being asked or tempted or you have a dilemma whether to go back to a place that wasn't so good for you that you had or can potentially have a lot of conflict and, and kind of, um, what's the word, um, not staleness, but just lack of progression, don't. Be where you're really feeling good. Stay there. Stay with this love, stay with the fun, stay with a new group of people that make you feel awesome. Um, there might be an offer, an opportunity. Someone has presented an opportunity for you, uh, but you're conflicted because it, it, will, it will, might take you away from a partner, like distance-wise. Um, but I see you really focusing on your career, on your longevity, and doing what is ultimately in the long term best for you um, and it might cause a lot of emotional um, uh, discontent because someone might not like it you know because it might affect them in a way that potentially leaves them behind let's see let's clarify the situation clarify this five of wands with the moon For Leo or October please okay too much but these stand to stand oh eight of wands queen of swords and strength yeah guys you can't escape your success even <laughs> even if you really want to even you can't ruin this for you your power right now and this is you again coming up really strong in your reading maybe there's another fire sign an earth sign potentially that is also very benevolent an air sign that could be very benevolent for you someone is really extending their hand to you like offering a, a, an opportunity communicating something to you that really um, addresses your talents and your abilities and your experience and your um and your knowledge something that really taps into you and your path you're feeling like yeah this is this is my direction this is what i want to do this is who i want to be and this is october is looking really good you have great opportunities great offers uh you know sometimes we get a little bit confused because of all the potential and because of all the options you know and that can also get confusing Okay, then what, what should I do? Everything looks great. Everything looks so good, so you're like, something must be wrong. Everything must be not good. This is, wh wh where's the catch? <laughs> Honestly, Leo, I don't think there's a catch. I don't see a catch right now. I also have two eights. And this Queen of Swords, you know, it's very um, sharp, accurate energy, um, idealistic, full of values, full of truth. This is a very truthful combination. This is a very, um, it's an accurate off offer. You know, it comes in the right time um, and, you need, and you need to grab it, basically. It's, it's, it's a matter of action. You have to grab it. It's a matter of timing. You can't let it um, fly. You can't let it pass you. If, re if it requires some um, endurance or holding on through something in order to get to that offer or to take that offer, then it's worth it. I find the interest there's an interesting connection between the lion here in the Two of Cups and the lion here in the Strength card. This is you, always you. I feel like your higher self is really on top of things, is really guiding you, um, like not letting you stir off your path. I'm 
someone is really looking at you in a good way, being really impressed by you, maybe a promotion, wants to offer you something really fast, um, and you're expected to take it, you know, take it or leave it. Come on. Like, everybody wants to be around you, Leo, this month. Everybody wants to be around Leo. There we go, the higher fan. Yeah. <laughs> Another Taurus, by the way. Taurus are really coming up a lot in the readings. I'm Taurus. Well, I'm in all the readings, so maybe that's why. Um, but this is strong intuition, strong guidance, um, strong advice, um, really accurate one, really benevolent one, really wise, wise one. Um, there's an opportunity here, definitely, potentially more than one opportunity to really succeed in something. And I say grab it, Leo. Don't overthink and contemplate. Just really, really, really grab it. Honestly, this is one of the simplest, most straightforward, positive readings I've had so far. Really appreciate the energy. Maybe it was the ice cream. <laughs> Maybe all you need is ice cream, huh? Anything else I need to tell my dear Leos before we move on to the Akashic Tarot? Messages from the, this is an amazing oracle uh, based on the Akashic Records. And it's fascinating and inspiring. So we'll get to this now. But before that, I'm going to show you your extended, but I want to conclude. I want to see if there's anything else my amazing Leo Seeker needs to know for their October. Happy Halloween, by the way. You're going to go as yourself. Seriously, you're like, I'm the bomb. Final messages to conclude for Leo for October. Two of Wands, Death, Nine of Wands. Guys, this new journey, this new opportunity, this uh, expansion, it reminds you of death because it's change. All change reminds us of death because change comes with an element of an unknown. Change comes with the element of the unknown. And the unknown scares us. And the unknown reminds us of death. It's, it's a subconscious thing. It's an art. It's, very, it's an ancient archetype that us humanity are carrying with, ourself, with, with ourselves. Um, and we want to hold on. And we're a little bit paranoid. And there's, we're always timid against it. But here's the thing. This is the third two, by the way. Great, great extended. Um, the only constant is change, and it's inevitable. And what I'm seeing right now is super positive. It is really accurate with your core. It will have longevity. It will have success. It will have creativity. You will shine. You will be out there, um, but acknowledged. And some of you, I feel like, are, are almost one leg out the door, like, towards that thing. But you're holding on, like waiting for something to change or waiting for something to end first before you can begin that thing. Um, if that is the case, I see um, nine, like potentially nine days top, for example. From, I'm doing this video on October 1st, for example. Time is fluid from whenever you're watching this, if this resonates. Um, between two to nine days. The wands, it's, it's fire element. They're fast. So... You will have the opportunity, to, you'll have the chance to grab whatever opportunity or change or growth or expansion that is literally on, on its way. Um, just prepare yourself, you know, be like, okay, I have to wait for this and that. I have to, this to ha I've, I need this to happen first or this to end first in order for me to be able to do it. Um, so prep what you can until then, you know. So once you, you have the go, then you're just on the go. <laughs> Um, uh, 
Yeah, and, and someone is really resisting this change. Could be, again, this person in your life that doesn't want to see you go or change or grow because they're thinking how it will affect them. Um, and they're really trying to stop the movement, stop the change. Um, perhaps telling you all the other things that can be, all the other potentials that can happen that you might be missing out on. Just listen to what you know. You, you're, you're very in tuned now. Your intuition is heightened. Both your subconscious and conscious are heightened. It can cause a lot of confusion and a turmoil as well. When the subconscious is like talking and the conscious is like talking, they're both alike in this uh, really um, excessive loud conversations with conversation with themselves and you're like, You got this, Leo. Seriously, you can't not have this, like with these cards on the table. Okay, uh, let me show you your extended, and then we will move on to messages from the Akashic Tarot. All right, so let's start with connecting the Major Arcana. Sun, Empress, Moon, Death, uh, Strength, and the Hierophant. And what I do, I reorganize them in the chronological order. So we have 3, 5, 8, 13, 18, and 19. And we see what comes up from that. And then we have the repetitions. We have, I'm sorry, 2, 2, and... And I love that we don't have the Two of Swords on the table. That's very good. Good, sorry. <laughs> good. Mm. Fives. Yeah, th that's an annoying combination. Yeah, someone else doesn't like your new success. We'll talk about it. And... Maybe. I'm going to leave the eight because of the strength. And three for the empress. Actually, no, let's not waste any time. Let's do it right. Let's do it accurate. Okay, Leo, so this is the first part of your extended, okay? The second part will be I will clear the table and I will reshuffle and do a Celtic cross, which is can potentially bring a completely different narrative or a different point of view and take on things. And it also shows you what will be like literally throughout the month, like with time frames, um, depending on the cards that come out. It's possible to see from there. And we will conclude from with a message from my beautiful, amazing Celtic runes made, um, carved on hematite. Okay, great. So, gosh, they've been so awesome in the readings. Like, their messages are just... And look how pretty they are. <laughs> I can't know how pretty this is. I'm a Taurus. I like these things. Um... Guys, thank you so much for your subscriptions and likes and comments. I read everything, and I'm super excited to have you on this journey. Uh, I can't wait to get to know you guys and answer your questions on October 10th on my live Q&A right here. It's the first time I'm doing this chat. Um, all the links are below in the information box to your extended. Um, to There's the, um, all the uh, information that you need for um, private reading. I'm a doing... I'm doing... A, I'm a doing... I'm a doing. I'm doing a special <laughs> for October for private sessions all over the world, so it doesn't matter where you are. And there's a link to Tarot Masterclass. If you want to study tarot, go ahead and check it out. Um, I have very in-depth lessons about the cards. And okay, message from the Akashic Records my shining Leos for the month of October. Clear, accurate message guidance for Leo. 
for the month of October, please. Message for Leo for October. When it comes out, it comes up. Oh. We're wondering. Ask and you shall receive. Okay. Taurus also got this. This is crazy. You saw me mixing the cards and it fell. The Queen of Roses. Watch Taurus. Maybe it will speak to you. because And Taurus was really strong here. So, I don't know. Okay. Beautiful card. I'll read it to you as well. Story time. That's so funny. It's like there's a common theme for everyone each month. It's like all the zodiacs, allegedly different, but actually just, you know, we're all intertwined in one web of existence. And I find it beautiful and interesting. Okay, here we are. The Queen of Roses. This card shows a beautiful woman with roses in her hair and all around her. A beautiful scene expands outside, but she is peacefully focusing on the flower in her hand. The Queen of Roses signifies a woman who is loving and supportive, but with a passionate side as well. This is a card of a loving connection. A relationship with someone you know may deepen and become more meaningful, or someone new may appear. Be open to the connection. It may be, um, it may be a romantic one, or it might be that of a, that a friend, family member, or a co-worker is going to be helpful and valuable to you in some way. The Queen of Roses can represent you or a woman in your life stepping into the role of a of wife or mother at this time. It's a time for loving energy to be voiced. This card upright sometimes show a happy resolution to a difficulty with family, a friend, or a love or a love relationship. The time for peaceful, loving connections is at hand. So open your heart to the expression of caring within and around you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, I love you dearly. I will see you in the November uh, tarot, tarot scopes. I might dress up because it's Halloween, but I don't know yet, so don't hold me by the word. Um... See you in a second year extended. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then this is a great opportunity to press subscribe and support me and be a part of my journey. Love you guys very, very much. Ciao for now.